Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Java development environment on your Windows computer. We're going to install a Java development kit for compiling Java, Maven for as a build tool. We're going to uh, install Git to handle source code. And finally, we're going to install IntelliJ that we can use to edit code. Let's get started by installing Java. There are different Java distributions out there. The one that I'm going to recommend you use is called Amazon Coretto. It's based on OpenJDK, which is free and open source, and it comes with support provided by Amazon. It also comes with a installer, which makes it easy to install on, on Windows. So download the MSI installer, wait for it to download, and then launch it. Once the installer launches, click Next, go with the defaults, accept the permission check, and just let it install. All right, so that takes care of Java. The next thing we need to install is Maven. It's a build tool for Java. It's a little bit different to install because it doesn't come with an installer. Instead, we need to install the zip file. So go ahead and download the zip file, open it. And then what we need to do is take this uh, file from the archive and move it into our program files directory. So on your local disk, go to program files and drag over the folder into into program files. I'll ask you for permission, check, uh, hit continue there, and then just let it uh, extract there. While that's going on, go into the search here and search for advanced, and you'll find the advanced system settings control panel. Within it, go to environment variables. Here you can close this. In the environment variables window, select path and edit. What we need to do is add this new folder into the path so that uh, Windows can find, find the executable from there. So hit browse and then go to the folder that we just extracted. So it's in C, program files, Apache Maven and bin. Just hit okay on all of these and we're done with installing Maven. Now, next we're gonna install Git, which is a, a source code management uh, tool. Download the Windows installer. Once it finishes downloading, open it up. Go through here uh, with the defaults. Okay, I don't wanna view the release notes. You can just hit next here, close the installer. And we right now have all the actual tooling we need to build and run Java applications. The last thing that we're gonna install is IntelliJ, which is a code editor or an IDE. We can use the community edition, which is free and open source and works really well for, for the stuff that we're gonna build. Go ahead and download the installer again. Once the download finishes, open up the installer. Just hit next on these. Uh, we want to add the launcher to the path so that we can launch IntelliJ from the, from the command line and then just click install. Once the installer finishes, you need to reboot your computer before you can use IntelliJ. So let's go ahead and do that and continue once the reboot is finished. All right, and we're back from the reboot. Final thing we're gonna do here is open up IntelliJ and make sure that it works. We don't have any settings to import, so just click on OK. Then you can choose the look and feel, dark or light. If you wanna add any additional build tools or version control tools or other plugins, otherwise you can just start using IDE. All right, so we have IntelliJ installed. We've got all the tools needed for building Java apps. The only thing that remains now is to actually start coding. In the next video, I will show you how to import a project into IntelliJ, how to run it, how to debug it, and how to enable browser live reload so that it's really smooth and nice to work on web software 
uh, in Java. So be sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, enable the notifications, and check back for the next video. Thanks for watching.